Hi, I'm Vicki. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making two fun Halloween crafts. I hope you enjoy. The first craft is this ghostly pumpkin shadow box. So it's, I made a very small one. And what you'll need for this is the shadow box, some paint. I used black and cobalt blue. And later I'll be using orange, chocolate, green, and a white pearl. So I have a lot of different brands. It's all acrylic paint, however, and I will be showing you exactly what color and style I was using of each brand. And all I did was paint the shadow box with this, a combination of the black and the cobalt blue to make sort of a night sky color. I'm using a very fine brush here just to add some stars to make it more like a night sky. So the next part of the craft is really one of the more fun parts, which is making the foam clay pieces. For this, you'll need the foam clay, some cornstarch, and silicone molds. I have bought all of my silicone molds off of Amazon. I just look for the shapes I'm interested in. So we have some pumpkins, like a big pumpkin, some little flat pumpkins. The big pumpkin is my first 3D mold, and I think it's really cool, and I really want to make a lot more mold, molded pumpkins, but today we're just making a small thing, so I could only make one. And I'm also going to add a moon, and I'll be adding a freeform ghost. I am using a small round vase filler, you know, those little glittery vase fillers you can buy at the craft stores to make sort of the head of the ghost. Now I always line the molds with cornstarch because otherwise they will stick and it And a lot of times you'll find that you really need to add more than you even think. So there's lots of times where I'll go back, I'll try to unmold my item and it will have stuck so I'll have to redo it. But the good thing about the foam clay is that in really for quite some time as you're working with it, it stays very malleable and you can reform it in any form you want. So the pumpkin, I love how the pumpkin turned out. I mean, he is so cool. So hopefully I'll get a chance to make a lot more of those. But I also made a lot of fun little tiny pumpkins.
But the ghost was a lot of fun to make. And to make his little folds, all I really did, I really literally folded him as if he was a, a sheet and I wanted him to have the fold, folds the way I wanted to. And I just played around with it until it looked the way I wanted. And then he fit into the shadow box nicely. So now I'm going to glue the pieces in. I have not finished, as you can see, painting all of the things, but I do want to paint some of them once they're inside to make sure I like the way they look. So I'm just using Eileen's tacky glue to glue everything into the shadow box. And dropping the moon because that's what we do here. So now I'm just going to add some of the fun little details like the eyes on the ghost and the stems on the pumpkins, but I'm also going to do some shading using the brown and eventually I'll get to the green because the tiny pumpkins have some green vine on them. And I'm just going to shade in between the pumpkin layers to make it look more like a realistic pumpkin that's been sitting outside in the pumpkin patch because that's what the ghost is all about, right? He's hovering over the pumpkin patch on a nice Halloween night.
So this craft was super easy, but a lot of fun to do. I really love working with the foam clay and the paint. And the more you paint, the more you'll get used to how to paint. And then I watch a lot of videos, but he turned out so cute. And I'm just going to stick him up on a shelf for Halloween. Now the second craft is this fun little stacker guy and he was super easy, basically just hot glue, some ornaments, and some Halloween looking picks. So I have these very small black ornaments, I've got this fun pumpkin ornament and some other purple and orange ornaments. I'm also going to use some purple ribbon and some orange ribbon. This Halloween pick I have, I'm going to cut off some pieces and turn that into a little bit of a thing. The first thing I did was take this baby food jar and I'm going to paint it black just to make a stand. You could really do anything as the stand, but since it has the nice little opening, I figured the bottom ornament would sit very nicely on, this, on a little baby food jar. And I have tons of baby food jars that someone gave me. So the ornaments, I'm going to cut off the, the top pieces of them so they can hot glue together better. So now that the stack is all done, I'm going to start putting some decorations around each place where I hot glued them together. One, so you can't see the hot glue, and two, just to add more fun Halloween style to it. And th this is using the Halloween pick, and it had these sort of leafy looking black things, and I'm going to start with that. I also have some black shoelace that I'm going to use around a smaller piece. And I think the most interesting thing, instead of using beads, which I thought about, I have these black and silver thumbtacks. They're very large round thumbtacks. And I'm gonna hot glue those in a circle around the top layer.
So I do want to use this orange ribbon because I love it's an orange sparkly ribbon I bought a while back. But the ribbon itself was a little too big. So I rolled, I cut off a small piece and just rolled it into a thinner piece that I'll hot glue on here. So making the top bit with the thumbtacks was really kind of fun. I just put a circle of hot glue and then I tucked in the thumbtacks one behind each other to make what looks like some beads. And I really like the way that turned out. So once the paint's dry in the baby food jar and the stack is done, I'm going to hot glue it onto the baby food jar. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is add a purple ribbon around the joint where the baby food jar is touching the bottom of the stack. And that is how simple this thing is was to make. And you could use any size, any shape. It's so much, so much fun. Just such a pretty Halloween, super Halloween looking too. So I hope these two crafts inspire you to make something fun for Halloween. I had a great time doing it and I hope you had a great time watching. And these two guys will be perfect on shelves all over the house. I put one in my kitchen and one in my living room and they are making me so happy every time I look at them. But then I like sparkly and I like Halloween so it's a match made in heaven. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.